Could you please explain the concept behind decentralized finance in layman terms and how it is revolutionary in nature? What are the downsides of it? All right, so the, the basic concept of decentralized finance is to create all of these composable uh, basic finance primitives that are implemented as smart contracts with some degree of decentralization. And one of the things we're going to be talking about today is what exactly does it mean to say some degree of decentralization? Um, there is a balance to strike in how decentralized uh, a platform is um, between fully decentralized, where no one has any control, and if something goes wrong, all of the funds go poof, as we saw with the DAO, to somewhat decentralized with some governance overrides, maybe an escape hatch um, for when problems happen to shut down the smart contract and refund funds, um, and of course, not so decentralized when, if, uh, when there are effectively management keys that allow um, all of the functions of the smart contract to be overridden by a small number of parties. And there's all of the range in between. So that's the D, decentralized in DeFi. Um, of course, the, the Phi part means that this is primarily focused on financial products, and that means um, lending, investing, uh, borrowing, of course, uh, saving, um, implementing various forms of currency tokens, um, non-fungible tokens, uh, various forms of um, asset-backed uh, tokens and things like that, crowdfunding and crowd-raising or fundraising, um, mechanisms such as um, uh, what are they called? Uh, token bonded curves. Yes, that's the uh, fancy term um, used in the Ethereum space. And for the most part, we're talking about um, DeFi as a function that has come out of the development of Ethereum. But of course, DeFi isn't restricted to Ethereum, quite the opposite. Uh, DeFi is an entire industry. Um, and the best way I'd like to um, describe DeFi is by contrast to CeFi. Uh, CeFi, of course, is centralized finance. That's when somebody else takes your money, um, abuses it to implement political uh, favors in their benefit, and um, then it charges you for the privilege of them holding your money. Um, and perhaps, if you're lucky, they give it back to you, perhaps not, uh, while enriching themselves unfairly in a parasitical uh, codependent relationship with government. Uh, that's CeFi. So DeFi really can't fail uh, unless it becomes CeFi, because CeFi is already uh, a, an incredibly damaging parasitic system um, that plagues our planet. Uh, so DeFi is an approach that is primarily focused on decentralizing the power dynamic. That's the real key here. Who has power over money? And by decentralizing power over money, what opportunities does that give people to have better relationships with their money um, and not be exploited? As well as how does that increase access to financial services by disintermediating all the gatekeepers that prevent um, and limit access to financial services, effectively banking the unbanked or debanking all of us. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, like, and share. All my work is shared for free, so if you want to support it, join me on Patreon.